and welcome back, viewers, here to uh, Sage's Light Bulbs for another excellent production on this cold and windy night, where today we will be examining this Feet Electric Eco Bulb Compact Fluorescent. Now, before we open the box here, uh, let's talk about when this came out. I'm guessing late 80s, very early 90s. This was a point in time when people were starting to get tired of just copious energy bill from wonderful incandescence and very short bulb life. And so a lot of people at this point had turned to fluorescent tubes. The problem is their size. There are 15 and 18 watt fluorescent tubes respectively. And you can see here compared to my hand, they're really, really large. And this was a problem because these, and a couple people got creative and would bend them into like U's or, or D's even, but um, they, they were just large and flat. And so they were relegated largely to kitchens, bathrooms, and office spaces. They were well suited to office spaces because of the long periods of time that those are on and the low quality light required for office work. However, kitchens, they weren't the best because the color was a little weird sometimes. And bathrooms have frequent starts and that would damage the bulb life. And the real place where these could shine but is just in everyday fixtures. And so somebody came out with this brilliant thing. This is the old harp circuline bulb, wherein this would screw into your standard fixture, and then you'd actually clip in a circuline bulb in and around this. And you'd have this monster of a contraption here. I'll make videos on these too. Monster of a contraption that didn't fit in anything except for overhead like just basic ceramic porcelain screw-in sockets, or the occasional large 70s lamp. We're actually uh, m a lot more abundant back then, but... So Feed Electric, uh, to counter this, came out with this. Now before we open it, let's read the advertising here. Last 10 times longer than an ordinary bulb. Uh, given that the ordinary bulb only left 750 hours, which I think is actually the average these were lasting back then. And so this was really an appealing comment at that time. And uh, more here about the saving stuff. But the big slogan they have here is you're saving two ways. You're saving energy bills and you're saving the environment. Both things that were probably important to this buyer as this would have cost a small fortune and probably should have, really. Now open here top here they give us uh this code esl18 well it's 18 watts and i imagine that's helpful for categorizing these lamps if you had like a catalog or something on the top here there's some special information that you don't find nowadays in cfls some stuff about this lens remove plastic lens to increase brightness we'll get to that burning position any that's good temperature range 41 through 95 oofta that's narrow especially in some of the more northern states in the winter. So really best indoors. Okay, so here we have the unit itself in its excellent pyro uh, styrofoam shield. Remove that. And, uh, whoa, like, what are we even looking at here? So this is the shield they're talking about. And the idea is you can remove this. So keep it in if it's in a place where it could get whacked and take it off, and you just slit it into these little slots and then pivot. It's actually a good design, and I appreciate seeing a removable part even on this little bulb to adjust it. Now that there is the two lumps. That's gonna be your the top of the transformer, because this is a magnetic ballast. I guess it'd be an inductor, but magnetic ballast, and that's a little starter bulb, and we'll look at those in a second when we're actually firing this. But they've taken like a T6 or a T6, I, I think it's a T6 tube. It comes up, does a like a, a bend, and then goes out here. And I mean, just like, whoa. But it's a lot smaller, at least in profile, than the circle bulbs. So that's a win. It's quite heavy. And our sticker just tells us general information. So let's light her up. Okay, lighting up the bulb now. Let's see if I can do it with my foot. Yes. Okay, on three, two, one. So you can see the good old fashioned preheat start. And I'm actually not gonna do it again because it's really hard in the bulbs and that bugs me when people do that. They just turn them on and off. So here you can see uh, what it looks like. It's this really kind of elegant little creation here. And I actually am a big fan and it, the light quality's fine. The phosphors weren't great at this point in time and it's, it's bright enough. I mean, you know, it lights up this table well. 
Anyway, I would have been quite satisfied with this if it was like $5. Now, it was not. It was a fortune. I'm talking like $20 maybe, but that would have just been a disaster back, back. I mean, that was an outrageous amount of money, but... So to conclude here, friends, I think I can safely determine at least for the time period, this was a fantastic unit uh, As if you were going for smaller size. If you're going for like quality, I would have gone for the larger Circuline ones because they have a lot more bulbs to choose from it because you can actually change the bulb itself, whereas this you cannot. But they're both very reliable, both very honest with their approach, and both come up with creative solutions to a uh, giant problem of the time. And so, be it not for the high price, I'm sure these would have been really, really, really successful. But um, they were very expensive and ultimately met their demise shortly after their creation. Thank you and goodbye, friends.